This is Maverick Watch Reviews, and buying a watch these days can be a really daunting task with so many options available. So here's a guide to help you find just the right watch for you. We're going to go over seven items to consider when buying a watch. Style, power, atomic and GPS, material, watch brands, water resistance, and size. Now let's start with style first. There are many popular styles out there. Would you like a dive watch with increased water resistance? How about a dress watch for a social function? Maybe you need a fitness tracker to work out. How about an inexpensive beater watch to wear on the weekends and finally paint that room you've been wanting to paint? Or maybe a high-tech smartwatch to stay connected. Now you also have to ask yourself, what else besides the time do you want your watch to do for you? Most watches have a date function, but you need the day of the week displayed as well. How about the month? What about a military time option? Maybe you need a watch that has a chronograph to time events, or possibly a watch with a compass, barometer, or altimeter, or all three known as an ABC watch, analog or digital display. Watches these days can provide you with so much more information than just the time. How do you want your watch to be powered? A classic battery powered quartz or an automatic? Automatics wind themselves while you wear them on your wrist. What about a classic manual wind watch where you provide the power? A quartz watch can either have a replaceable battery inside or be solar powered. That's where a solar panel charges a lithium ion battery. Or you can have a combination of an automatic and a quartz. That's a kinetic watch. Kinetics have the accuracy of a quartz movement, but with the convenience of an automatic where a rotor uses your arm's motion to charge a lithium ion cell inside. And don't forget about atomic and GPS quartz watches. An atomic watch gets its radio signal from Fort Collins, Colorado, and a GPS watch gets its signal from orbiting satellites passing overhead. Some watches have both technologies inside. Both of these are quartz and either solar or regular battery powered. With these two technologies, you'll always have the correct time. Automatics, manuals, solars, and connects also mean you can say goodbye forever to battery changes. Here's a rough guide to the accuracy of each type of watch. Automatics and manuals are accurate to plus or minus 15 seconds a day. Swiss made automatics that are COSC certified are accurate to plus or minus four to six seconds a day. Quartz and kinetic watches are accurate to plus or minus 15 seconds a month. And UHF or ultra high frequency quartz watches are accurate to an unbelievable plus or minus 15 seconds a year. There are many materials you can choose from for your watch. Plastic or resin, stainless steel, and titanium are the main three. Some watches have a combination of one or all three of those materials. Plastic is great because it is very light and can be molded into many different shapes and is also very corrosion resistant. Stainless steel is the most commonly used metal in watches and is harder than plastic and is also very corrosion resistant. Titanium is great because it is five times harder than stainless steel, yet it's 40% lighter. Titanium is more expensive, but a great option for higher end watches. Now remember not to judge the value of a watch just by its weight on your wrist. There are roughly 300 plus watch brands in the world, so you really do have a world of options. There is a watch and a price point available to everyone. High-end Swiss Automatic, or Tech Pack Japanese, or something in between. Your options are almost endless, and there are fantastic watches with the features you're looking for in every budget. How water resistant do you need your watch to be? Many brands offer differing levels of water resistance depending on the intended use of the watch. Some watches are just splash resistant, while others can brave the depths thousands of feet below the surface. Prices vary greatly, but don't always indicate that one brand is better than the other. You can buy a great value-packed budget watch, or you can go all out on a high-end Swiss timepiece and enjoy its fine craftsmanship inside and out for years to come. Watch sizes have tended to lean towards larger watches these days, but it's really all about personal preference and what you think looks and feels good on your wrist. That goes for straps as well. You can have an all stainless steel bracelet, leather or silicone strap, or opt for a NATO style strap for extra security. I hope this helped and have fun buying your watch.